Welcome, I promise a Sony Xperia 10 Mark II and today I will show you how to bypass the Google verification. Now as you can see on this device we have two ways of unlocking it either via the verification pattern or using the Google account which couldn't sign in so I assume I am disconnected from network. Let me quickly fix that. Uh, be nice little refresh. So there we go. Now I'm gonna quickly connect. And from here, I'm gonna get back to the place where I was. So let's go to don't copy. And again, there we go, there's the verification pattern and the account. Okay. So to get started with the bypass, we will need to number one, change the language of the system. So let's go back to the first page. And from here, tap on the drop down and choose any other language that uses a different keyboard. So that'd be uh, Greek, Russian, um, Turkey, whatever, whatever language like that. Um, so as you can see, I chose Greek for now. Not the language which you choose doesn't really matter. Um, if for instance, you prefer Russian, then go right ahead. Um, other than that, it's basically just to get mm, a certain option. We don't really need to read it too much. As you can see, we're back on the page. Now let's tap on again the Google right here. And once it's... There we go. So from here, tap on the field. It will bring up the keyboard. And from here, you wanna hold the globe. And this will bring up the menu. So from here, number one, let's switch to QWERTY so we can later on type normally and then hold it again and go to language settings, which is this text below the, those two options. And then at the bottom, tap on the blue button. And from here, you're gonna choose any option that doesn't have an arrow. So this is just so we can add a different keyboard. So as you can see, we chose something here. Tap on again the blue button and add another one. You can add, okay, so as you can see, we have now four. And once you do that, from here, you can back out. <coughs> See. And we want to then go, let me quickly check. We want to go back to the first page and just simply switch it back to our language, which for me, it's gonna be English. And again, let's tap on this, get started again and progress through the setup once more till we get to the verification pattern or the Google account. So on here, tap on the field again, hold the globe again and go to language settings. And from here, gonna tap on add keyboard, scroll down till we find one with an arrow, choose that, tap on the three dots and from here you should see help and feedback option and describe your issue, you wanna tap on that and type in uh, Morse. So it should pop up with use Morse code like so. Tap on the video to start uh, loading it and three options will appear. And when you tap on them, you will have the option to watch later and this will bring up our Google Chrome. So from here, accept, uh, no thanks, we don't want to log in. Tap on a field on the top and you want to navigate to hard reset that info. And then tap on the three bars right here. Oops. And choose the download category. And tap on the field right here and you want to search for Android 7.1.2. Let's search, then tap on the download, scroll down, and this time you wanna hold this and open an incognito tab. 
This will ensure that we don't have any kind of failed download uh, that sometimes happens. Tap on OK. It will start downloading as you can see. Give it a moment. Then open it up. And let's go to settings, uh, allow from this source, go back and install. And from here, once it's done installing, it's gonna come close up, uh, done, and go back. And now we want to download, let's go back once more. Okay, and now we want to search and download settings. Like so. As you can see, there's the app, settings app. Let's again download this. Scroll down, download. Oops, not like that. Let me close this. Hold it and I'll open in incognito. And open. Install. And this time we will open this up. This will take us to the settings where from here we're gonna go, let's see, to apps and notifications and then see all 30 something apps, tap on the three, dar three dots right there and then show system. And now you want to scroll down till you get to the letter G. Yep, so there we go. So that's where we will find our Google Play service uh, app. So Google Play services, there we go. Tap on it, disable the app, like so, and then Again, disregard this, okay, uh, agree. Okay, so as you can see, it's now disabled, go back. And it's also written right here, so it's disabled. And now we also want to disable the Google Play Store, which is below that, which looks like it's actually already disabled, so we don't have to do anything. Let me just quickly check it once more. Yep, not bad. So from here, we're gonna go back and go back once more. You want to scroll down in the main settings page to accounts, tap on add account, and choose the Google one. And from here, you want to, well, log in using your Google account. Now, if you don't have one, you can always create it. It's completely free. Uh, and once you create it, then simply log in with it. Uh, now, I have mine, so that's what I'm going to use. And I'm gonna put in a password. So I'm gonna do that off the screen. Okay, there we go. I put my email in correctly, so that's why I couldn't log in. Uh, but once I fixed it, as you can see, we're there. Um, so once you log in, you will have the welcome screen and Google Terms of Service. So obviously we need to agree to that. And as you can see, there we go. So account is added. Now I want to go back disregard the app crashing constantly it's the app that allowed us to actually add the google account so it did its job now we want to go back to apps see all see all 37 tap on the three dar, uh, dots right there and go to not this uh, go to show system and again we want to go down to g and re-enable the apps that we have disabled so Google Play Services right here. Enable. Go. Go back. There we go. Google Play Store. Now I don't really have an option to enable it, so let's just leave it at that. And from here, you want to hold the power key and simply restart the device. Yeah. So now, as you can see, we're back in the setup screen. Let's progress through it once more. With the key difference, uh, you'll see shortly that it will think that we have added or well, verified the account. Now, 
Now keep in mind that the process is still not finished, um, which you will see shortly. And there we go. So this is previously the account that was, oh, page that was telling us to verify either the pattern or the Google account. And now it's telling us account added and it's the hard reset info one that I have added right before the reboot. So we're gonna progress through this by tapping on next. Now, like I said, the device is not unlocked. It's still, uh, is actually locked and has the uh, old account in memory. So if you were to reset the device right now through recovery mode, it would simply go back to being locked. Um, now here, choose whatever you want. Um, skip most of this. We don't really care about the setup at this moment. We want to get access to the home screen. And we should be right about there. Well, like I said, disregard the pop-up with the app crashing constantly. It's gonna be gone soon. So let's stop and finish. Give it a second. And once we actually see the apps, there we go. We want to go into the settings. So let's open up our settings app. From here, scroll all the way down to system. Then tap on Advanced, reset options, erase all data factory, reset, it will bring up an info that while well, performing this operation will remove all the data from the device, which there is none, along with the Google account and provides us with the one that we have used to kind of semi bypass the verification, but it will also remove uh, the old account that was previously blocking us. So tap on delete all data, delete all data, and now the phone will begin unlocking itself basically. Now again, this will take a couple of minutes, but once it's finished, we will be then back in the setup screen, uh, at which point we will be able to set up our device as however we like. So I'll be back once that is visible. And as you can see, now the process is finished. So again, let's go through the setup. Uh, now, this time around, I'm gonna go through it fairly quickly um, once more. But like I said before, you can now set up everything that you want. Connect to Wi-Fi if you want. Um, set up an offline, there we go. Um, you can connect to Wi-Fi, log into your Google accounts and do all that stuff and everything will be working just fine. Now I am skipping everything just to, to save on time. And as you can see, the device is now fully unlocked. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.